the cat is out of the bag, so that's our guest for a week. <laughs> so no more, no more uh, suspense, as it were. Um, you can see our uh, artist of the week, one of Nigeria's most cel celebrated filmmakers and directors, currently enjoying rave reviews. And um, I was just telling him and um, my partner here that before I watch a Nigerian movie, Question Check out who's directing. Who is directing? <laughs> Kulia Fulayan, CEO, Golden Effects Pictures. Thank you so much for your time and for being here this morning. Thank you for bringing me. Let me here. begin with a congratulation. Thank you. On Anikulakbo. In fact, thank you for putting the sign because some people will be saying it's, it's Anikulakbo. <laughs> it's not <laughs> Lakbo. It's not in the pocket. Okay. But now, even though what Akbo does is that a pocket. What mean? Anikulakbo. No, Anikulabo. The is death pouch. is where? In the pouch. In a pouch. It's not in your pocket. It's no. in the pouch. Yes. Even though the pouch is a kind of pocket. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But it's Akbo. it's detachable. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, you, <laughs> you can detach it. Okay. Yeah. I get it now. I get it. The <laughs> message of Anikulabo. For those who have, I, I don't want to give spoilers. Yeah. Uh, but have you seen it? Oh, uh, I couldn't not have seen it. Okay. Uh, uh, there's Netflix? A, yes. There's a friend of mine okay. who said, have you seen, I was watching out for it even before it came. Um, but it looks like this is the backstory. Yeah. Uh, tell us about the, the build up to it. Uh, well, I mean, uh, again, thank you for inviting me. Um, I started working on Anikolapo six years ago. Wow. And I was going to uh, make 20... it. Uh, 20, 2018, 2016, 2017. Uh -huh. um, and, you know, I wanted to make a series because it's a story that I feel, you know, will stretch like Game of Thrones, for example. Okay. And um, I shopped the idea around, you know, we already structured like 10 episodes, you know, and then it was called Odu, the parable of tales. I'm, I'm sure that um, you might not know what Odu is, but <laughs> it's like Odu Fa, you know, yeah. like... Like quotes. Yeah, uh, of the Fa. Okay. So now the backstory of Anikolako is a verse in Ifa. Is one of the old in Ifa, <clears throat> and I said to people that look, you, you we, we read Bibles, we read Quran. If you open any, if you flip the Bible, and just open it, and you see maybe Matthew chapter one mm -hmm. verse, when you read it, it's a story, mm -hmm. all right. Mm -hmm. And for me, I thought, look, we've really like missed out on um, um, telling our stories you know, the way they should be told. Um, I've seen a lot of, you know, uh, American films trying to tell African story. And by the time you finish, you, you'll be upset. Me, I get upset sometimes, especially because of the misrepresentation of the culture mm. and misrepresentation of the people. Yeah. And I said, look, you, if they have the right to do it, you know, I mean, so why can't we do it ourselves, you know? And then I started building it. But then um, Netflix, I pitch it to Netflix, and they're like, look, okay, we're not sure this would do well, but why not try to do a film? Uh -huh. If the film is good, then maybe the conversation can continue. Good. And I have then hopes. That was it. So I was, I was, I was going to tell you, I hope there's going to be a sequel. <laughs> yeah, mm. the whole world wants the story to continue. Mm. You know, this thing about... Um, telling our own story. Mm. Is that not the main reason why most of you are in movies in the first place? To tell our own story. Well, because I... we are the custodians of the information. Yes. So we know the story better than anybody else can ever know. Yeah, but some people are just there to just tell stories. Like if you watch a lot of films and content on television, um, we try to be you we try to be Oyimbo more than the Oyimbos. You know, we try to we create content where, you know, people do car chasing and people, you know, do gun shooting and people do look, it's lifestyle. It's 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 a 
you know, I mean, it, it, uh, um, it's a modern world. Uh, but at the same time, uh, um, area of interest differs. Um, I want to tell stories that, you know, capture values, you know, cultural values, family values, you know, and, and, and all of that. But without necessarily um, um, neglecting the essence of why we do content, which is entertainment. So the, 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 I'm always mindful that my content must have, um, it must be entertaining, it must be educative, Thank and you. it must be informative. The end of the day. Yeah. Entertaining. Yes. Uh -huh. So it's, for me, um, having practiced for, uh, for one or two years, mm. I found that the core of content yeah. should be information and education. Absolutely. And the seasoning should be entertainment. So if content does not have um, sub uh, significant information, it will look to me like, you know, there is, there is a problem. So you talked about something that I have considered very, very valuable and, you know, which is values. Africa is about values. The value of the story, for instance, I found it amazingly intriguing Thank at you. the end sincerely thank you pride yeah and it's something it it could sneak in on you without knowing it yeah it snuck in on this young man yeah. without him even knowing that you know it is something that is really happening he was he didn't even know he could have it because he was very humble at the beginning yes tell us what informed that choice of value in the story? Uh, well, it's, it's very... Look, for me, I, I have children, and sometimes I'm always saying to them that I'm, all, I'm not the kind of person who will preach something and do something else. So I preach what I do. Um, For which reason your child had to be a Makaliki, Makai. <laughs> exactly. Who comes to that? <laughs> you know, <laughs> who you comes know to so, that? I mean, I listened to the last mm -hmm, guest, mm -hmm. and, you know, we're talking about family and all mm. that, and I, I was listening, and I was just shaking my head, like, you know, <laughs> um, you know has I've he got in, with has, you. <laughs> has he got into that, I you know, where... It has, it has. But really, it's, it's, mm. it's true, because, I mean, I, my children, um, Sometimes I'll be like, let me be the father. Let me be the kind of father my father was. Mm. But instead, I'll be like, okay, in this age and time, you can't do that. Yeah. But then I'll always tell them the stories of where we were coming from. And I'm always letting them know that, look, life has two sides, you know, um, and all the enjoyment they enjoy now, we never, they need to know because if you don't, even if they are, they are so fortunate. Mm. And I'm always telling them, you're just, you're so lucky. Mm. And, um, you know, so these are things that I try to preach beyond the comfort of my home. Um, look, power, just like they say, absolute power corrupt absolutely. absolutely. And that is one of the issues with Saro in this film. Me, I have no problem with him, you know, enjoying and balladering himself. But I just have problems. So we need with... to include that word in the dictionary. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the, word to, the, word, the verb to balance. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, but I have problem with, you know, you being blessed or given or being fortunate to have something that you could use, um, you know, positively for humanity. But then greed, just like you mentioned, the greed comes in. You know, a lot of, there are people who have things and who have power and who are still humble. Mm. And, you know, they do things that they don't even talk much about. I don't want to spoil this movie yeah. <laughs> for those who have not watched it. It's, bo mm. it's been on Netflix for how many days now? It's just a week. Just one week? Yes. No wonder I've not seen it. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. But, Tell yeah. me about this uh, Oscar nomination controversy. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, uh, for a film to qualify for Oscars, you different countries i think outside of the u.s you have a committee in those countries, countries who okay. will pre-select and then present the film to oscars and uh we i submitted and i know quite a number of people submitted and um last year when they said 
no film was eligible. Mm. Um, did, I, they, did they mean that no film was good enough? I think they have said, that, that, that was what I wasn't clear about. So okay. I reached out when I was submitting now to say, look, what are those parameters sent to us? So they send it to say, read this. And then we ensure that we meet all the criteria. As a matter of fact, Anakolapo is supposed to be exclusive to just Netflix. We're not supposed to do cinema. But because Netflix also, you know, uh, would like for us to submit, they gave a bit of window for us to do, because the one of the um, condition is you have to do seven days at least in the cinemas okay. before the Netflix release mm -hmm. or the same day as Netflix release. And Netflix agreed that, okay, go ahead so that you can qualify. So we, we met all, all the, the conditions. So, and then they, I think it's a 15 man team or something. Mm. And um, they, I think they went to vote. And um, if you have films that qualify, why will you, why would eight members of the committee say no film is eligible? So up till now, they, they haven't come out to explain the meaning of no film is eligible. If you pick one or you say, oh, according, because they wrote to us to say you didn't have enough votes, so sorry, your, your film can't. But no film is eligible. What does it even mean? Mm, mm, and they, have, mm. they haven't come out to explain that to anyone. And it's just a shame because um, this is the first time you're going to have this quality of, you have a lecture about, you have, you know, Agashi Kole, that's King of Thieves, and then you have Anikola. King of Thieves, yes. You know, and these are like three, you know, I mean, solid, when epics. Moved, solid epic films mm. that could have represented the country. Mm. And, you mm. know, so, I don't know. Well, <laughs> it, I guess that will open a, a completely different conversation in Africa, right? Yes. What, what What do you think that is saying? What could that be saying to Africa? Well, maybe the maybe Oscars need to, you know, maybe change and not put, uh, you know, um, faith in the hands of a few colleagues. Who, because most of them are, are colleagues. Mm, mm. And I think that is also a bit, uh, you know, till by Baolo Shemajo, you know, she film next year. Oh, come on. You know, some of those things. Because it's, if you have like, like 10 of those or more of the members, the committee members are filmmakers like us, like directors, you know. And some of these directors also happen to um, work for some of the competing films. Oh. So it's, it's a lot of mess. I think um, oh. it's... It, 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 uh, so, that's an eye-opener. No, yeah. that, that's sounding like some <laughs> politicking that I don't think... Of course, we'll absolutely. Get of okay. course, oh. absolutely. But let's, so let's get back to the film, shall we? Yes. Now, you... I will say this, that casting mm. makes the movie. Yes. Casting is, is a skill. You don't just, oh, you can act, you know, come and do it. Oh, you can act, you know, come and do it. It's something that's usually methodic. What informed for you? Because it's not like Anikolapo is a story from the history books. No. It's a fiction of sorts. Yes. What, what for you were the parameters that occasion the choices of those leads, including that Hollywood guy? Are you, who's 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 <laughs> Hollywood? Change you change to Nollywood for a brief. Yeah, well, for me, I'm always saying well, casting is 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 so key, and um, you're gonna have a serious story, and if you have bad casting, it waters down the story. It, it, as a matter of fact, can actually ruin, mm. um, you know, the entire story. Um, and I've always paid, you know, like real attention to that because. Um, there has to be a balance. So for me, the first thing is we have generation of actors who have been around for decades. Mm. And for actors, you don't have retirement. And there will always be roles, just like we were joking, but there will always be roles for old people. Sure. You know, people in their 80s, mm -hmm. 70s, 60s, they will always be, depending on the story you're telling. Mm -hmm. So I like to balance bringing the veterans, you know, like the, my father's contemporary, all them, Baba Wande and all, my father's contemporaries. Yes, I know. So I like to bring them on board. 
I like to bring the generation after all them Ogogo, Dele Odule, and all of that. Um, you know those ones, and, the younger and ones. then the younger ones, Kunle Remy, Bimbo, and and all, and then the upcoming, like my daughter, you know, and all of that. So, um, but if you're doing this kind of film, language is key. So I can't say, oh, because you're beautiful and you're so talented, but you cannot speak the language. Mm -hmm. I, I can't force you in. And that's what I say to a lot of young actors these days. That, and when you talk to them, they try to speak uh, American English mixed with British. So you're not even sure which accent, you know, they have. It's a Myro british Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> you know, so I'm always saying, so what other language do you speak? They will say, oh, no, I mean, I can try. I said, nobody will, will now put you in training school for six months to say, well, I go and learn this language. And yeah. you will still not fit in because it's not going to sound right. Yeah. So language is very key, you know. Um, also, of course, looks and all of that. If you have... There was a guy I was considering using for the lead. Saro. For Saro. Because I had conversation with different people. But he had this big tattoo all over. Mm. And I'm like, I can't cover, I can't be covering this tattoo every time we want to film. So that automatically even Rode disqualifies you. Even though you have every other, you know, thing, you, mm. the looks, you, you can speak. But I can't deal with this tattoo because you're going to open your shirt a lot of time. Mm. So these are things that actors need to always factor in. You know, um, if, the, if the tattoo is minimal or, I mean, it's small... Well, you paint around you can the always paint around, but if yeah. it's all over, it's a big problem, mm. you know. So, uh, because that will hit into our time, you know, for production, because to cover yeah. that can take two hours, you know. So, so we're going to lose two hours of the... <laughs> let, yeah. let, let me yeah. ask you, yeah. I, I, um, yeah. um, so my, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let her out. Yeah. My producer's child mm. identified this child couldn't be more than 10, 15 or thereabouts. Mm. Notice the CGI, a child. Notice the CGI and said, Mommy, look at this CGI. It's clean. Coming from a child. Yeah. Isn't that a filmmaker in the making? Well, yeah, that is, exactly. So what, what did, how, how did that come to be? Uh, it cost, definitely, of course, no doubt. Technology mm. is coming into movies, yes. has come into movies, and has to be developed you mm. know, on and on. It's not something that is common in the yeah. country. Well, the, um, as a filmmaker, I try to play down on CGI's. I am not a fan. I like to like create real ambience and real atmosphere. I'm not a fan of green screen. But if you're doing this this size of production that will have a bit of supernatural power and all of that, you cannot. We shall, I can't go and put a shoddy do on somebody as in, <laughs> and put vulture. feather as in, come and be doing this. <laughs> like this by moonlight, you know. <laughs> We've gone past that stage, you know. So we really took a time, you know, to really, um, you know, study how best to create the Akala mm -hmm. bird, you know. And um, all the CGI was done in Nigeria. You know, really? everything was done in Nigeria. The sound, the everything. And the filming, the production proper, um, when we were going to film, we tried to scout for location. Mm. And then um, I saw, um, um, we went to Oyo, Komu, my mother's place in Okeogun, Oyo. And uh, we said, okay, let's go and see if we can, like, remodel some houses and all of that. Mm. And as we were entering the town, you know, I saw this space because they have mountains and hills and all of that. And I'm like, okay, let's go and check what is here. And we went there and I'm like, okay, it would be nice to sh like build things against the backdrop of this mountain. And that was it. And then we acquired the space and we built the entire community, the old town, Oyo and Ojumo, we built from scratch. Let me assume that right now there is a population of people in that place. Absolutely. So now we have, um, a, 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 it's called Cap Film Village and Resort. Mm. And um, this is sitting on uh, 40 acres. Wow. And um, at the moment we're doing hotel so that we because we struggle with accommodation when we shot. Mm. Let, me, let me just ask you yeah. this.
Anikolaku is a big movie. Mm. Any guesses about what it cost you? Well, because I signed on disclosure agreement okay. with a partner, I won't be able I'm, to reveal that. <laughs> I'm going to let that go. But a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. of money. Um, let me just say that this is the first of a series of interviews with you because mm. there is a... Look, you, you talked about storytelling. Mm. Africa needs to tell Africa's stories. Absolutely. Otherwise, Africa's story will be told for it and we need to avoid that as much as we can. Mm. Um, we're running out of time, but... Be, be, before we run out completely out of time, I've always wanted to ask you what informed the storyline of Phone Swap? Okay. Well, at that time, you know, technology was phone. Blackberry was like in vogue yes. and all of that. And, yes. uh, and you know, people always, people are always reaching out to say, your films are always so serious. Can you, so you're not good at doing anything. That, and I'm like, I'm Light. a man of, exactly. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, really? You want it? Okay, I'll give you. <laughs> so, <laughs> and the phone swap is, is funny and it's, uh, you know, so... And then BlackBerry was in town, Glue wanted to partner, all of those guys, and we, we came up with that story. And uh, I just showed people another side of me. Okay. Mm. I, I'm going to let you go now, because my director yeah. is shouting in my ears. <laughs> That's what you directors always do, <laughs> shouting in the ears of your, of, of your, of your actors and uh, hosts. For oh. now, we have to thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Um, throwing light on a number of things. Perhaps this is also telling you, on um, you know, the entire community of uh, movie makers that, look, you're going to have to start your own Oscars in Africa. Well. But, you know, I'm going to leave that for another time. <laughs> Maybe subsequently when you come here. Kolea Folayon, CEO of Golden Effects Pictures, filmmaker, director of The Figurine, Irakpada, Full Swap, October 1, Roti, Irakpada, Omogwa, The Tribunal, The CEO, Mokali, Swallow, Citation, Anikulapo, ETC, ETC, mentioned and unmentioned. Thank you so much for your Thank time. Thank you very much for And me. all the best all the time. Sure. And Kulia Falayo closes sunrise for this day, this Saturday, the 8th of October, 2022. We shall bring you a fresh edition next week. Make sure you join us. I am Alero Idu, wishing you a happy weekend and a happy holiday. Please forgive me if I'm advertising an o'clock. It's a super fantastic African story. You may want to do yourself a favor of seeing it for the holiday.